Hey guys, it's Abdallah here with a quick tutorial video on Mario Kart 8 Acceleration Tiers. Now some of you guys are familiar with the concept, but for those of you guys who are not and want to become pros at Mario Kart 8, you're going to need to learn this stuff. So when it comes to the raw stats of acceleration when you choose your kart, if you have one square of acceleration, that is going to be the exact same thing as 1.75 squares of acceleration. Simply put, it's in Tier 1. Same concept with Tier 2, 3, 4, and 5. So with that being said, if you're going to choose a cart combination, you want to choose the lowest acceleration for your tier in order to use the other stats in different areas. Is that a little bit too much for you? Okay, well let's go ahead and do some visuals on this. Now what I did was I grabbed um, some time trial footage. As you can see right over here, I've got 2.75 bars of acceleration. That is exactly what we're going to do right here. I'm going to actually do a time trial run where I go through I hold the gas at the beginning so we get the bad start, and then we're just going to accelerate forward. And this will be an awesome visual test to see how we accelerate to our max speed. So that's pretty much it. This is at 2.75 acceleration. We're going to run right into that wall and have no further need to play out. So here we go. Now we're going to go down to 2.0 acceleration. This is in the same tier, mind you. But this is at the very bottom of the tier. So let's use the 2.0 acceleration cart with the 2.75 ghost. Let's see how we, we uh, accelerate or, uh, or not. So as you can see from the ghost footage over here, we are accelerating the exact same speed, which proves the tier system. Now let's take a look at 1.75. That is the very top of the first tier. Let's see how that compares to the, uh, the second tier. You can see it visually that we will be slowing down. So let's take a look. We'll blow out right at the beginning, and then you can see the ghost already starting to go ahead because he's in Tier 2. So that is awesome. Okay, let's continue on. Because ultimately, a lot of people don't believe that the tier system is real. Um, let's go ahead and test out the bottom of the third tier against the top of the second tier. Let's see what's going on. Will we accelerate more or not? It all depends on what stats you're using. Okay. So here we go, and we are automatically accelerating way past the dude. Okay, so there you have it. Now let's test out some more, because some people may think that it may not be true with other accelerations and other uh, different um, cart combos or different levels. Uh, but right now, we're going to go with the 3.0 acceleration, which is the bottom of the third tier. We're going to go over to Music Park right now, and we're going to try this out again. Now, I'm using Baby Mario. Uh, still, it doesn't really matter what cart frame or what character you use, as long as it's the acceleration stat. Now, right over here, I'm going to make this ghost the 3.0 benchmark, okay? Now we're going to jump right into 3.25, as you can see right over here on the screen, once I choose this cart combination. Done. Okay, 3.25, it's uh, a little bit higher in acceleration, but does it really make a difference? That quarter bar. We're going to see. So here we go, blowing out, and we are racing the 3.0 ghost, and we are literally inside him right now as you can see. And I just kind of veered a little bit over to the side so you can see he was right next to me. Okay, let's actually test out the 3.5 acceleration. Alright, now 3.5 versus the 3.0. On paper, it looks like it would accelerate faster. But here we go. It looks like we are going the exact same speed. And as you can see, I can veer off a little bit, and there he is right there. So, uh, of course, the top speed will be a little bit different, uh, but hitting that top speed is that acceleration stat. As you can see, I used two different carts in that la last example in order to get that acceleration. So here we go. We're at the very top of the third tier, and now it's time to actually test it out. Is this acceleration better or the same? And it looks like it's the exact same. And you can see the framework of the ghost right underneath me. 
Okay, so that proves the whole third tier discussion. Now let's take a look at the fourth tier right over here. Now, before we actually go into the entire fourth tier testing, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the fourth tier versus the third tier. Now, you'll actually see me boost ahead a little bit right over here, and I'll look behind me just so I can see him in my dust. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's the way it should be because they're two different tiers. But now we're gonna actually make a 4.0 acceleration ghost in a new level. I'm gonna make a brand new ghost for it. We're gonna slam into a wall over here at the airport and then we're gonna test the entire fourth tier to see if this whole tier system is throughout every single tier of the game. Okay, so there you have it. Crashing into the wall with Baby Mario and the awesome roller wheels and the sports coupe. That's one of my favorite combos, actually. So here we go. So now we're going to actually show you a little bit lower tier versus that fourth tier. Just so you can see it blast ahead. And we kind of showed the reverse on the previous one. But you can see it just going way ahead over there. Just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to add that in there. Alright, so now we're going to actually test out the entire fourth tier. So, tier four... That's four bars plus a quarter. So four and a quarter, we're going to test that out. It's going to be pretty predictable because as of right now, the tier system is holding true. I definitely wanted to show this off to you guys because I know a lot of people on message boards are not believing that um, the tier system is real. But you have to believe it because if you don't pay attention to what acceleration tier you're in, you may be wasting much needed stat points towards your cart combo. And I know a lot of people online are asking, okay, well, what's the best combo? What's the next uh, Funky Flame Runner or Metal Mario B-Dasher? Uh, well, it, it depends. It really depends. I mean, nothing's really been established, but hopefully by watching this video, you guys can understand what acceleration is and then maximize your stats from there. So here's the 4.5 acceleration, spending two additional points in the fourth tier, pretty much for nothing, because as you can see, we are going the exact same speed. All right, jumping in over here, this is the ultimate test. The ultimate test, wasting three points of acceleration. Three points of acceleration, seeing if this is going to make or break. And most likely, by the way, the rest of these uh, little examples have been going, it's definitely breaking. All right, let's watch this. Here we go, choosing that 4.75 acceleration. We got it. I like this little bitty buggy. I think that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Sorry, baby Mario. And there you have, the proof is in the pudding, done. Accelerating at the exact same rate. Okay, now let's take a look at the top tier of acceleration. This is the fifth tier which you can't go any higher than this. Um, simply put, if you're a baby character, you can typically reach this tier. Um, and acceleration is way good. Like, the more acceleration you get, the better you are uh, when it comes to being a beginner. Because if you get hit by a lot of items, then you don't really feel the items, and you just keep on going. So here we go. We're um, testing this 5.0 ghost out on the fourth tier guy. And you can see I just passed him way up. And you can see him crash in behind me. So that's very interesting. So that's for demonstration purposes. Let's actually test out the fifth tier. Because you can go all the way up to 5.75. You can't go to 6, unfortunately. There's no character that's that light and that uh, accelerated. But we're going to make a brand new ghost over in, uh, I want to say, what? Toad Harbor over here? Yeah, Toad Harbor. This is one of my favorite levels, by the way. So we're going to make this ghost. There's a nice straightaway up front, so it'll be a perfect opportunity to do so. We're going to go straight into this wall over here, make our ghost, and test out the final tier. So this is five and a quarter acceleration. You guys can see it right here. All right, this is a way fast accelerating combo. I wonder what this feels like online if you uh, get hit by bananas or green shells or anything like that. All right, so here we go. Will we accelerate faster? That's the question. All right, definitely not accelerating faster. And you can see the Bitty Buggy's wings, uh, the little ghost wings that were kind of near me. So that just proves that this theory holds true. But don't worry, we're not done yet because we've got the uh, 5.75 acceleration right over here. Now this is max acceleration. 
This is the highest acceleration in the game. And we're going to actually see if this holds true to the lowest of Tier 5. So this is the ultimate test right here. Will we go faster than our ghost? And there's your answer, folks. We do not. So there you have it. The Mario Kart 7 tier system has come back into Mario Kart 8. So just keep that in mind when you guys are picking your kart combinations. And if you guys want to be pro, like myself, you got to pay attention to this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this acceleration tutorial video. If you guys want more Mario Kart, look no further than my channel where I've got all the generations of Mario Kart played through. And at the same time, we're continuing strong with Mario Kart 8. Now that we've finished off all of these CC Cups, uh, 50, 100, 150, and Mirror Mode, we're actually going to continue our Pro Tip series. So if you guys want to become a pro at Mario Kart 8, stick around. Click on that subscribe button. There's a lot more coming. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.